Hello, hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sean. And I am Penguin. And we just saw a ridiculously weird probe split where he sent all of his probes over to one mineral patch and then selected one and sent it to the other side. Sean, 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 Sean. I think yeah. we're seeing a six pool. Oh, no. I would like to introduce in the bottom right of Tall Dream Altar, we're going to be seeing the man who's not afraid to 11 pool and apparently is not afraid to six pool either. This will be our red Zerg, Clash Presto. Oh my goodness, I guess Clash Presto did do a little bit of research on his opponent, a Protoss, who has, uh, I can only imagine, has done incredibly well in this tournament. He is ranked 174th of every, uh, in, among every Protoss player, among every StarCraft II player in the North American server. This man has done the 174th best on the ladder. He is a Grandmaster Protoss. It is... Cause... <laughs> And, and uh, calling Copper Hertz, and okay, anyone Copper Hertz. science class in middle school should know what that means. And he will be seeing him now. Oh, he's going to be seeing the six pool, but he's for, he, he looks like he wants to forge fast expand, which is totally acceptable on this map. How will he, he be able to deal with it? <laughs> he's not walling off at his choke, which will, means it'll be much, much harder for him to wall off in time. Throwing down the forge. Oh, no, a bit of mismanagement from Clash Presto. I don't know what he's doing. Is he? He's getting a... a, a, a Oh, okay. He's extracted, yeah, extracted, tricking out a couple more Zerglings. Okay. Oh no! Look at that uh, pro micro from uh, from from Copperhertz, and actually a huge mistake from Class Presto could have killed that. Oh no! Probe. I think he might look to do a cannon rush with this probe. In in oh, response. No. Oh man, I'm just gonna counter. No, he will Jesus be able to get that though. He will get that probe. Be very, very good. Very well. And done. these links are going to be guessing the right direction. He did, of course, know that it was not in this top right position, and he will be able to get in here. And this could be an incredibly fast game. 1-4, Clash Presto. Unless but Copper very Hertz good is... cannon placement on the mineral line, uh, uh, minimizing the, uh, s the surface area with the probes, and they will be able to protect that uh, cannon very effectively. Definitely. Uh, very, very well done. down to the micro, and I feel like, oh no, get, allowing him to get a couple of shots off on the cannon. And this is going to be quite exciting, the links. This uh, is in, indeed, he's in. going to be focusing down, no, he's not going to be focusing down that forward, it's just a little bit of a miss, misclick there. The question and is, I what? I think Tarson's <coughs> going to hold. Tarson holds. Oh, How is he going to respond? For the forge. He's going for the That's pylon, actually, point. looking to pylon block his opponent, which does make sense to an extent, but uh, the gateway is going to be coming up as well, and I feel like it, I, I don't think Clash Presto is going to have what it takes to do with this, but we did see him pull out an amazing comeback in a game where his 11 pool did not do enough damage in the semifinals. I honestly think he needs to make just make drones. His money is so high, I think he needs to make drones and get as many shots off with this. He's expanding, limit. actually. That, I think that is actually the right move. just to, to But if he's going to expand, he has to pull these links back. Because that uh, that initial zell is going to he's so going to do damage. as much damage to these uh, to these structures as he possibly can without getting in range of that cannon, denying that second gas very well. And of course, he now, will be denying any sort of expansion for the next little while. Now you could say that this was an unsuccessful six, six pull, but at the same time, he does manage to deny the uh, initial tech of a forge, the initial uh, uh, build order of a forge fast expand, and he does get his expansion up uh, earlier. And now he is making uh, uh, drones, uh, and that queen going to be able to come up nice and quickly, going to be a standard timing queen with everything that has happened. So actually, uh, not doing too badly for himself, does know how to transition out of that six ball. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely, Sean, and uh, it looks like Copper Hertz might be going for a four gate, throwing out the warp gate technology, and of course, Clash Presto has, of course, impeded his own economy to an extent with this opening, so it'll be interesting to see Absolutely. whether he'll be able to hold this off. He's very far behind in the drone count right now, but getting that second base up with those larva injects, he will be able to um, equalize that pretty quickly, I would think. Indeed he will. Um, actually, uh, only one zealot out, uh, not taking his sweet time with getting any sentries. I would assume he's going for a delayed 3 get expo, uh, which does seem like what we will be seeing. Um, oh, can't uh, scratch? Nope. Yes, scratch that. That's a four gate. Sorry, I keep seeing one side. It's going to be a delayed four gate, and uh, let's see if he does make that push or if he's just going to be using this to defend. I don't know, but uh, we are going to be seeing four gates on the field. Definitely, Sean, and I do think 
Uh, in a way, I think this is exactly the right move. This is the sort of aggression. He knows that uh, Clash Presta will not have the, si the same size army as he would have had had he not mm -hmm. um, sacrificed that for a for the um, for the six pool. So he's going and to be he's trying to take advantage expansion. of this. Yes, of course. He d I don't think he knows about the expansion. He does not know about the expansion, which might surprise him. But uh, he's going to be moving out across the map with these units. And I would think he is probably about. At this point, he has guessed that there is an expansion going out due to the fact that there is not very much aggression. I would agree, and there is actually a pretty formidable number of links on the field for which speed will be uh, finishing in a matter Fairly of soon. 30 seconds. <coughs> These links I, are moving across I, the field. I, I, I don't think I like this from Clash Presto. I mean, I, sending a link into Scout would make sense, but... Um, that I think that I think this is really working on your, your, your opponent not having a very good force field macro, but... Copper Hertz at Grandmaster. You don't get to Grandmaster without being able to use force fields. Uh, definitely, Sean. And of course, Clash Presto has actually now taken a lead in the supply. We'll be spitting out 16 more links, going for the engagement here. Oh my God, Very God. nice. Oh, getting a fantastic surround on those sentries. Going to take out the sentries. This could win him the game right here. And those reinforcing links that are about to pop. 12 more links pop right away, and they are on the way over. He's going to do. He's going to try to pile on block his opponent as well. Oh. So he does manage to kill that pylon, uh, are going to be able to hold, but at the same time... Uh, more links streaming in for Clash the Presto. The, these links are not doing anything, and th that's a huge mistake. He will get a very nice scout off onto the base, see exactly that it is in fact a 4-gate, and will uh, attempt... Ooh, will snipe another sentry. That's 100 gas right there, and uh, now, he's going to be... What? Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, he's going to be uh, putting up his roach warren as well, which is going to be... Uh, very, very easy to deal with these zealots once he has a good number of roaches on the field. Absolutely, and he's getting that roach one, which is good. I think he needs to hold until he can get that roach one out. Uh, but once that roach one comes out, I feel like he should expand. The thing about a four gate is that you can only support a four gate on one base if you have a little bit of money saved up, which is why a four gate can be such a risky. Oh, point running right past the, the running past the zealots, getting into the main, and of course the wall of into the nature into the mineral so line is very good. But he will be able to focus down this robotics facility and force the cancel on that, which is going to be huge, given, given that the roaches will be popping out any moment. Absolutely. Will he be able to and force the cancel on the Nexus as well? <gasps> the Nexus is getting very dangerously low on health right now, Sean, and it looks like he may force the cancel on the Nexus. No, the Nexus will hold. Oh, Nexus holds. And will he be able to uh, get another shot in? He is getting a sentry kill. He's doing so much damage. Clash Presto doing whatever he can. Uh, to, to keep his base safe. A good offense is a wow. very good defense as well. I wouldn't say the best in StarCraft 2, but it is definitely a very good way of keeping your opponent on his back foot. Keep uh, taking a look at the units lost tab. Copper Hertz has lost almost 500 resources more than Clash Presto, and given the, the early, I mean, that it's still relatively early days in the game, that is quite a bit of resources gone. And the third base is going to be coming up for Clash Presto right now, who is also throwing down gas as numbers 2 through 4. Absolutely, and keep in mind that uh, uh, even though the units lost, the resources lost is only slightly in the favor of Clash Presto. Uh, uh, when you consider the fact that two of those resource, two a uh, hundred of those resources in probes, that's even more uh, potential mining time lost. Let us check out the army army supply tab and the worker supply in the favor of Clash Presto. Presto. And now I feel like. Uh, Copperhurst has to make an attack happen. There is a pu there is a push out coming, and the question will be whether the push will arrive before the spine crawlers are able to burrow slash come up. The spine crawlers will be in position. Oh, he's moving one of them. He might be able to get a good shot off on that spine crawler, but no, he will see the spine crawlers and turn tail and run. And he actually pulled the drones. He did not even need to, and now uh, those drones are there just if they need to be. But the pylon going up. Uh, if he can get a zealot behind the mineral line of Clash Presto, he will be able to warp additional reinforcements in the national. But he's going to cancel that, and he's just going to go for uh, intense, uh, probably just go for, yeah, he's just going to two-base turtle, and he's just going to try and get that third base up as soon as he can get some units to protect it. And uh, I think we're going to be seeing a pretty classic macro game, but Clash Presto pretty far ahead. Clash Presto is in fact putting up a spire as well, and four stalkers not going to be enough to deal with the mutilus harass that is impending once the spire does go up. And I, th I would say, Penguin, I think that's a mistake. I don't think that he needs to put the spire up quite so fast. I think Clash Presto may be a little bit scared, and that's why he's getting that uh, getting that tech 
trying to get an even bigger work advantage. When he has the work advantage, he should just continue to make drones because that is exactly uh, what he needs. He just needs a bigger economic advantage. And he has a very – well, he had a very good overlord placement. And actually, yeah, the overlord placement, Copperhurt's taking that away. Uh, good move from him. But he, he, as long as he's able to spot a move out – The overlord is still there, Sean. The overlord will be able to escape with its life intact. Actually, no, never mind. He's going to be pulling around. <gasps> but the overlord is acting as a retard magnet, Sean. The roach is <laughs> almost being able to pull in unimpeded. I do think, however, that rather than the spire, which is, as you said, I think is a bit of a mistake at this point, I think it would be much more prudent to go for the roach speed and maybe get some upgrades on those roaches, which do do so well against um, gateway units. Absolutely, but the instrumental thing is not spending larvae on anything but drones. The nice thing about upgrades, you don't have to spend larvae on them, and he is so well defended at his at his base, he can just afford to play so passively and just keep making drones, because if you commit yourself to making drones, you'll make them so much faster than your Protoss opponent. And he has skyrocketed from a few minutes ago, a few seconds ago, I saw that he was only four ahead in the worker supply lead, now he is 22 <laughs> ahead. Looks He's like getting he has his been... level 1 flyer attacks, and that is just like, I really don't like that. But at the same time, he can afford to be doing that uh, uh, as long as he does commit properly. Uh, I think he will be There able is to a push it. coming in, and I do actually like the flyer attacks, given that he has the mutalisks. But uh, he'll be receding the creep here, and there's a lot of zealots and a lot of sentries. Just not enough stalkers to deal with the mutalisks, I feel, especially with the, ro roach backing, with the roaches backing them. Guardian You're shield going, not able to uh, focus on... Um, oh my god, uh, five crawler poke squad, the five crawler, that name, I'm going to trademark it. Sounds and, good. Uh, there I'm is a fourth going games. up for Clash Presto. Ooh, Mutalus is getting a couple of really good pokes in there, but then afterwards flying straight over Actually, five of those losing. stalkers. Ooh, there is a war Ooh, prism, they will be able to pick it off. Prism. It's not cost gas, but at the same time a war prism, very, very useful for the army, so just pure intrinsic value. Definitely, Sean. And I feel like... Even if even if uh, Copper Hertz doesn't see this expansion going up, uh, it's going to be very difficult for Clash Presto to saturate that. So he's going to be having to um, content himself on three base for now. Oh, he's being forced to evacuate the third as well as Copper Hertz pushes into this. There's just not enough over there to deal with this with these guys, and it'll be interesting to see how he's going to be able to deal with this. The roaches still zero zero. Uh, I feel army. like there's just too many mutas here. Uh, uh, for uh, for Copperhurts to be able to push any further than this, but sniping that third, very, very, very good decisions. Definitely. Uh, I feel like those rogues will not be able to do very much at all against those four immortals. And these force fields uh, by, by Copperhurts are absolutely perfect. This force field micro Grandmaster level, uh, like the Grandmaster he is on the end. Uh, yeah. I... I, I don't know. I guess, like, the Mutalists seem to be the only Anything that we're keeping uh, Clash Presto in the game. Clash Presto, GG. Wow. From Copper Hertz. A fantastically epic game. One of the longest games I think I've ever seen after a six pool. And uh, we'll be going straight into game two of this best of five finals, Sean. I've been I, Penguin. I'll tell you this. I have never seen a game where someone six pooled, absolutely failed it, uh, managed to pull ahead somehow, and then lose. I, I, that, is, that, is, that is the first for me. Definitely. I have been Penguin. And I've been Sean. We'll be seeing you in just a moment.